Then, is there a correlation between superconductors and diamagnets? Yes, there is a correlation between superconductors and diamagnetic materials. Superconductors and diamagnetic materials are both related to their magnetic properties, which is why they are correlated. Superconductors are materials that exhibit the Meissner effect, where below a certain critical temperature, they have zero electrical resistance and completely expel magnetic fields. This provides for efficient electrical current conduction and high magnetic shielding capability. On the other hand, diamagnetic materials are distinct from ordinary magnetic materials in that they are not magnetized by external magnetic fields, instead, they weaken the external magnetic field. This characteristic of diamagnetic materials finds applications in areas like magnetic shielding. Both superconductors and diamagnetic materials have properties related to magnetic fields, and because of these similarities, they are sometimes used together in various applications related to magnetic materials. How does the Meissner effect occur? The Meissner effect occurs when a superconductor is cooled below a certain critical temperature, causing its electrical resistance to vanish and generating self-induced magnetic field lines within its interior that completely expel external magnetic fields. The principle behind this effect is actually quite complex, but fundamentally, it arises from the quantum mechanical alignment of electrons within the superconductor at a specific temperature. In this state, the electrons become magnetically aligned and generate a magnetic field on their own. Once the electrons are in this aligned state, the superconductor's structural properties come into play, leading to the complete expulsion of magnetic fields. As a result, the superconductor is capable of entirely excluding any external magnetic fields and allowing for perfectly efficient electrical current conduction. The Meissner effect was discovered by the British physicist, Heinrich Meissner, in 1911, and it has since had a profound impact on the research and applications of superconductors and magnetic materials. If a change in pressure or temperature is applied to a superconductor, will the stability of the superconductor be broken? Yes, the stability of a superconductor can be affected by changes in pressure or temperature. Particularly, since superconductors exhibit the Meissner effect below a specific temperature known as the critical temperature, temperature variations can have a significant impact on their properties. With changes in temperature, a superconductor may exceed its critical temperature, causing it to lose the Meissner effect and reacquire electrical resistance. Moreover, the temperature can fluctuate depending on the environment in which the superconductor is used, making it essential to manage such temperature variations to maintain the stability of the superconductor. Changes in pressure can also influence the characteristics of superconductors. Some superconductors may exhibit a decrease in the Meissner effect with increasing pressure. Therefore, when working with or researching superconductors, it is crucial to carefully control temperature and pressure and be mindful of maintaining stability. Utilizing appropriate techniques to control temperature and pressure can optimize the characteristics of the superconductor. If so, will it be difficult to commercialize it unless a material that maintains the durability of a superconductor and maintains the properties of a superconductor against pressure or temperature changes is developed? That's correct. Maintaining the durability of a superconductor while ensuring stability against pressure and temperature changes is indeed a challenging technological task. Achieving both aspects simultaneously is difficult because several factors influence the stability of superconductors, making it a complex problem. As of now, there are no commercially available products that perfectly address pressure and temperature variations while maintaining the stability of superconductors. However, research and technological development in the field of superconductors are ongoing, aiming to enhance stability and expand the usable temperature range. To overcome the limitations of superconductors sensitive to external conditions like pressure and temperature, various efforts are being made, including material research, structural improvements, cooling techniques, and efficient temperature and pressure management methods. Moreover, as the application areas of superconductors continue to expand, there is a growing expectation for more research into suitable materials and control technologies for practical utilization. Commercialization would require overcoming various technological challenges, necessitating continuous research and innovation in the field.